Good evening, everybody. It looked like the public heeded our question, our advice about maybe wanting to take to stay this one at home. So, uh, for all of you that uh, had just attended the swearing in, thank you. And for those that are tuning in, um, and for the few of you that are here, thank you. Uh, welcome to the reorganization meeting of the Westfield Town Council of January 4th, 2022 at 6.30 p.m. for the purpose of organizing for the year 2022 and transacting such other business as may properly come before the mayor and town council. On December 8th, 2021, notice of this meeting was provided to the Westfield Leader and Star Ledger, posted on the Municipal Building Bulletin Board and filed in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. We please stand for the salute to the class. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There's a lot of comments from me tonight, <laughs> so my apologies. Um, so I just did want to re welcome and wish everyone a happy new year. Um, I speak for all of us on the town council when I say what a privilege it is to serve our community. I'd like to extend my personal congratulations to town council persons Linda Hapgood, Mike Dardia, David Contract, and Don Mackey for being re-elected to a second term, and gratitude to Councilman Mark Lagrippo, Jim Boys, Mark Parmalee, and Scott Katz for their support, and to all of their volunteer service, especially the past two challenging and unprecedented years. Additionally, I want to thank the resident volunteers who will be appointed tonight to serve on town boards and commissions, as well as the numerous volunteers who have been asked to serve on mayor's advisory councils. And to those who just completed their terms, thank you for your contributions and service to Westfield. Once again, I'd like to acknowledge our indefatigable and committed town administrator, Jim Gilday, who continues to lead with a steady professional hand. His contributions over his long career with Westfield are immeasurable and are only exceeded by his love and dedication to our town as a lifelong Westfielder. So thank you, Jim. We're very, very grateful. <laughs> I'd also like to express our gratitude to our amazing town clerk, Tara Rowley. We all know Tara likes to work primarily behind the scenes, but she make no mistake, she is the heartbeat of town hall. And I also want to thank our former mayor and current town attorney, Tom Jardim. Thank you for keeping us on track. <laughs> it is because of his efforts, we were able to make substantial legislative progress in spite of our many pandemic-related challenges. It's also, I also want to acknowledge town planner Don Samet, who's been instrumental in this past year's planning process, leading our critical redevelopment efforts. Most of you have seen and noticed that we are the beneficiaries of the breadth of his knowledge, his attention to detail, and a commitment to Westfield and leading some of our most important initiatives. And, you know, we, it, obviously there's not enough words to thank our, our first responders and public works. Westfield Police Chief Chris Battalora, Fire Chief Tony Tiller, DPW Director Greg O'Neill, and I think in particular their departments deserve special kudos for their ongoing professionalism to keep us safe and operating. operating not only during COVID, but in their extraordinary response to tropical, tropical Storm Ida. And I also, it's important to acknowledge Kim Ford, um, also behind the scenes, but you are the beneficiary of all the information that she puts out as our public information officer. And she once again has proven to be a critical memory of our emergency response team. And the commitment of our Westfield Regional Health Department, led by Health Director Megan Avalone, has been unparalleled. Their vast efforts to get our community vaccinated were extraordinary, and they are directly responsible for Westfield's 98% adult vaccination rate, in addition to their ongoing work of contact tracing, communicating public health policy, and consulting with our schools as we continue to navigate this pandemic. There are, of course, too many town employees to list individually, all of whom have worked tirelessly this year to deliver, to deliver for our residents, and they each have my heartfelt gratitude and those of all of us up here for their dedication and professionalism. And lastly, thanks to our families, including my own, for their ongoing support of our service. We could not serve without them. And so we're gonna move on to tonight's business and appointments, and I will follow with additional remarks in my State of the Town address in a little bit. So I will now call the meeting to order. Mrs. Rowley, may I have a roll call? Mayor Brindle? Here. Council members Habgood? Here. Parmalee? Lagrippo? Here. Katz? Here. Mackey? Here. 
contract? Here. Dardia? Here. Boys? Here. I will now propose the acting and alternate acting mayor appointments for the year 2022. Acting Mayor Mark Parmalee, <coughs> alternate acting mayor Don Mackey. May I have a motion to accept these appointments? So moved. Moved. Second? Second. Second by Councilman Con uh, Dardia. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. Aye. yes. Opposed? This motion is carried. And I'd like to thank Council Linda Havgood for your role as acting deputy mayor for the last few, acting mayor for the last few years. So thank you. My pleasure. Um, I will now name council appointments. All of the following appointments will be through December 31st of the stated year. Planning board liaison, Michael Dardia, December uh, 2022. Board of adjustment, LD Pavone, 2025. Carol Molnar, 2025. Samuel Risen, alternate number two, 2023. Special Improvement District Board, Amy Fixler, owner director, 2024. Uh, Burham Regjaj, operator director, 2024. Roberta Lowe, operator director, 2024. Scott Katz, council designee, 2022. Don Mackey, mayor designee, 2022. Craig Gibson, ex officio, 2022. May I have a motion to accept council appointments? So moved. so moved. Moved by Councilman Contract. Second? Second. Second by Mark Councilman Lagrippo. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. yes. Aye. Opposed? This motion is carried. The following are proposed employee appointments. Uh, a resolution to appoint the town engineer through 2022. Resolution to appoint municipal prosecutor through 2022. Resolution to appoint public defender through 2022. May I have a motion to accept employee appointments? So moved. So moved by Councilman Mackey. Second? Second. Second. Second by Councilman Dardia. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? This motion is carried. <clears throat> I will now propose board appointments. Board of Health, Elizabeth Talmont, 2025. Tara Donnelly, alternate number one, 2023. And the council liaison is Mike Dardia, 2022. Recreation Commission, Jen Gilman, chair, 2022. Amy Berman, 2024. Russell Howe, 2024. Joseph Schaefer, alternate number two, 2024. Council liaison is Scott Katz, 2022. Historic Preservation Commission, Katie Spikes, Class C, 2025. Jacqueline Brevard, Class C, 2025. Catherine Reed, alternate number two, 2023. Council liaison, Mark Lagrippo, 2022. Tree Preservation Commission, Marilyn Holdefleck, 2023. Manette Scheininger, 2023, and the council liaison is Jim Boys, 2022. Memorial Library Board, David Collum, 2026, council liaison, Jim Boys, 2022. Westfield Housing Commission, and all of these are through 2022. John O'Brien, Sasha Nisbet, Paul Marcutulio, Carol Nixon, Karna Garrett Sestero, Don Samet ex officio, and Frank Veloso ex officio. The Public Arts Commission, Gwen Fisher, Class 2, Mayor Designee, 2022. John Levy, Class 3, Town Historian Designee, 2022. Bob Zuckerman, Class 4, DWC Staff, 2023. Cheryl Rosario, Class 5, Resident, 2023. Don Mackey, Class 1, Town Council Rep, 2022. Christine Rattleman, Alternate Number 1, 2023. Samantha Mooney, Alternate Number 2, 2023. Human Relations Advisory Commission, Gary Mandelblatt, 2024, Juliana Rivera Meta, 2024, Barsha Iyer, 2024, Elizabeth Lugonis, 2023, Sophia Zimmerman, 2023, Paris Barker, 2022, Isabel Shea, High School Representative, 2022, Lori Silverman, alternate number one, 2022, Ronald Holmes, alternate number two, 2023. Access and Inclusivity Council, Carl Figueroa, 2022, and all of these are 2022. Jason Goldberg, Elizabeth Lugones, Juliana Rivera Meta, Roseanne Pizzi, Esenam Korku, Caroline Thompson, Lysia Zhang, Drew Pecker, Jesse Borenstein, alternate number one, and the council liaison is Michael Dardia. The Mental Health Council, Dominic Trott, resident, December 31st, 2023. Esnam Korku, 2023. Ann Arena, 2023. Council Liaison Linda Hapgood, 2022. The Bicycle Ward, all of these are 2022. 
Douglas McNeil, resident, Angela Knowles, resident, James Meiselman, resident, Michael Ring, resident, Jay Goldring, Green Team Liaison. May I have a motion to accept these board appointments? So moved. So moved. moved by Councilman Mackey, second? Second. Second by Councilman Lagrippo. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. Aye. Yes. Opposed? <clears throat> this motion is carried. I will now read mayoral appointments and council liaisons. <coughs> Planning Board, Michael LaPlace, Class 5, Class 4, 2025. Anastasia Harrison, Class 4, 2025. Ann Friedman, alternate number 2, 2023. <coughs> Myself, as the mayor's designee, 2022. And Anthony Tiller, Class 2, 2022. Solid Waste Advisory Board, Jeff Brick, 2022. Union County Transportation Advisory Board, Harvey Davidson, 2022. Union County Air Traffic Advisory Board, Jer Jerome Fetter, 2022, and Francis Adrian, <coughs> alternate, 2022. The Chamber of Commerce liaison is Councilman Mark Lagrippo. The Union County Le League of Municipalities liaison will be myself, along will also be the liaison to the Board of Ed. And the Senior Citizens Housing Corporation liaison is going to be Councilman Mark Lagrippo. So the following are council committees for the year 2022. Finance Policy Committee, Linda Hapgood, Chairwoman, Mark Parmley, Vice Chairman, Scott Katz, and David Contract. The Public Safety, Transportation, and Parking Committee, James Boyd as Chairman, Michael Darty as Vice Chairman, Linda Hapgood, and Mark Lagrippo. Code Review and Town Property Committee, Mark Parmley, Chairman, Don Mackey, Vice Chairwoman, Jim Boyes, and Mike Dardia. Public Works Committee, David Contract, Chairman, Scott Katz, Vice Chairman, Mark Lagrippo, and Don Mackey. Whew, that's a lot. <laughs> and um, I just think it, uh, it's still, it's the, shows the extent of, um, of the level of volunteers that we have. And I want to say thank you and so much to those. We're going to have more, I think, to announce in terms of resolutions related to the Green Team and others. But I think it's time for me to deliver the State of the Town Address. And I'll take a look. <laughs> I didn't realize I was talking that much today. Oh my God. It's a lot of names. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, last year, uh, we, I remember delivering this via Zoom, so that's, we're almost there, but uh, it's, it's much better always to be in person. So I do have, this is always a privilege, delivering the State of the Town Address, reflecting uh, our key 21, 2021 accomplishments and our 2022 priorities, including the vision we have set in motion for our future. First and foremost, I'm happy to report that the state of our town remains strong and that we have almost fully recovered from the fiscal challenges and uncertainty brought on by the pandemic. In spite of our current COVID challenges, signs of optimism abound, as evidenced in the recent number of ribbon cuttings I've attended, the numerous new businesses that have announced their intention to open, the commitment that some of our existing businesses and commercial property owners have made to double down on their local investment, and importantly to all of us, a booming real estate market where housing values in Westfield rose almost 20% this past year. It's important to appreciate these silver linings while we continue to weather this seemingly never-ending pandemic storm. Our strength always and continues to lie in the dedication of our town employees, the enduring commitment and volunteerism of our residents, and the resiliency of our business community. I am proud of the following accomplishments this council made on many fronts this year. Most importantly, we successfully managed our pandemic fiscal recovery and the successful restoration of town services, maintaining an ample surplus in our AAA bond rating. We paved 15 miles of roads, bringing our four-year total to 43 miles, almost half the town. We attained police department state professional accreditation for the first time in town history. We managed the cleanup and recovery efforts from Tropical Storm Ida, including the first ever storm-related bulky waste pickup by town's DPW. We completed and adopted the town's first ever land use and circulation plan, finalizing the last step of the master plan and providing a holistic roadmap for future growth. We adopted 29 general ordinances, which included historic designations, increasing fines tenfold on graffiti bias crimes, licensing of landscapers, outlawing private, private residential pool rentals, and more. We introduced an Edison School Field proposal in collaboration with the Board of Ed. We adopted a redevelopment plan and pilot agreement for the Westfield Crossing on South Avenue, providing an anticipated $15 million in net incremental revenue benefit to the town. 
We allowed for the adaptive reuse of the Handler Building on North Avenue to be converted to the region's first hydroponic vertical farm. We continue to emphasize voluntary historic designation with two additional historic properties designated at property owner's request, bringing the total to seven in this administration, the most in town history. We adopted ordinance to allow for maker spaces downtown, which precipitated and enabled the Rialto's transformation into the Center for Creativity. We launched a new and enhanced town website, allowing for enhanced automation, online payment, and communication tools. We spruced up, enhanced, and beautified Open Quimby, facilitating a vibrant and successful summer in our downtown. We received $1.3 million in pursued grants, the most in decades, and we are awarded silver certification by Sustainable Jersey for the second time in town's history, town history. There is a much more exhausted list of our accomplishments that can be found on the town website, but I typically like to spend this time focusing on our future where we remain committed to working together to fo focus on progress, not partisanship. This year, our key objectives are as follows. Continue our record of strong fiscal responsibility and management. Protect the health and safety of our residents and employees. Become a premier sustainable town. Upgrade and invest in our parks and fields. Diversify our housing stock. And advance the plans for revitalizing our downtown. I just want to provide a little bit of specifics behind each of those, if you'll uh, bear, me, bear with me. So on record, on continuing strong fiscal responsibility and management, obviously maintaining our AAA bond rating and appropriate level of surplus is always key. We're also prioritizing new revenue streams, cost savings, and efficiencies to maximize productivity and try to hold the line on property taxes while improving services. We want to continue to focus on expanding and diversifying our tax base while exploring new ways to augment revenue sources. Continue to invest in capital and infrastructure to upgrade equipment and services and mitigate long-term maintenance costs. And continue to execute on our unprecedented multi-year paving program, which calls for 80% of the town's to be, roads to be paved by 2026, which is quite remarkable, with more than half paid by utility companies. Secondly, in terms of protecting the health and safety of our residents and employees, we want to continue to provide and support the Westfield Police and Fire Departments with adequate resources and equipment to protect our residents and businesses, including we'll be adding an additional police officer, which with four new officers entering the academy this month, will bring our active duty force to 52, the highest staffing level in history. We're expanding the town's current body ward camera program to every officer, which we approved in December. We'll be installing license, license plate readers in every patrol car in an effort to further reduce crime and combat auto theft. We will, we will sit, double down and prioritize on speeding and traffic enforcement to improve pedestrian and traffic safety. We are planning on implementing the recommendations of the Traffic Pedestrian and Circulation Plan to mitigate congestion and improve pedestrian safety, which was put paused a bit because of the pandemic. And we also want to ensure adequate staffing and funding of the regional health department to proactively address and manage future health crises. Regarding sustainability, we want to continue the transformation of the conservation center to a premier regional recycling facility and revenue generator for the town. We want to prioritize stormwater mitigation measures by allocating resources based upon the short and long-term recommendations we anticipate coming from the newly created Westfield Infrastructure Resiliency Committee or work comprised of resident volunteers and key staff members. We want to continue to support the green team efforts to engage and educate the public and business community through various public events, fairs, and sustainability initiatives, which they are never short of. And we want to require the best sustainable and green building practices in all new development. Regarding parks and fields, we want to designate specific capital budget annually to support maintenance and necessary basic improvements, such as bathrooms, water fountains, lightings, etc. We want to prioritize the creation of new playing fields as recommended in the strategic parks plan, starting with the Edison Field proposal. We want to create a detailed master plan for Tamakos Park in partnership with the county and assess potential for relocation of the Westfield Rink, additional parking, dog park, and bike and walking trails. We want to implement parking, safety, and restroom improvements to Houlihan and Sidfe. Continue the cleanup and capital improvements to Brightwood Park in collaboration with Friends of Brightwood and plan for the new playground at Windsor Park and new South Avenue Public Park to be paid for by the Westfield Crossing developer. Regarding housing and our attempt to diversify housing stock, 
We want to make sure that we, Westfield is a place that young people can afford to live and seniors can afford to stay. So we want to ensure and continue our obligation fulfillment of Westfield's affordable housing obligations and while mitigating concerns over traffic, infrastructure, and school enrollment. And we want to rein in developers and reclaim control over high-profile development projects by negotiating favorable redevelopment agreements on behalf of the town that require higher quality architectural and construction standards, traffic mitigation measures, and public improvements. And lastly, and probably most significantly, regarding advancing our plans for revitalizing our historic downtown to ensure it remains vibrant for generations to come. In the short term, we're going to continue to evolve downtown beautification efforts by enhancing open Quimby, parklets, and outdoor spaces, and expanding programming to draw downtown visitors. In the first quarter, we, we, we plan on finalizing the agreement with the operator to convert the north side train station into a restaurant bar and to also open the south side coffee kiosk. And we're going to be engaging the public in evaluating the downtown Lord & Taylor redevelopment plan by Lord & Taylor Property Owner Streetworks Development with an anticipated second quarter public presentation. We aim to create a fiscally responsible smart growth plan that enables a new downtown live work play ecosystem with improved streetscapes, vibrant public gathering spaces, and additional living and working options to support and sustain our local businesses for the long term. And within that, we also plan for want to implement a long overdue downtown parking solution that meets the needs of post-COVID commuters, employees, and shoppers. And as we've been, done so successfully to date, and thanks to the efforts of Councilman Mackey, continue to prioritize the, prioritize the arts by incorporating murals, street art, and outdoor exhibits into all economic development efforts and elevating Westfield as a preeminent culture destination, partnering with the Rialto as an anchor in doing that. So we have an ambitious agenda, and it will take all of us working together to bring these goals to fruition as we strive to build an even brighter future. To achieve, achieve this, we not, must not fear change or progress, but rather embrace it while we continue to prioritize maintaining our small town character, which attracted so many of us here in the first place. To ensure Westfield remains healthy and vibrant, we need to evolve, adapt, and grow so that all are welcome and feel at home here. Which brings me to a final point, which I'm just going to reiterate a point I made in my remarks outside. While we've made strides on so many fronts, troubling signs of division and hate have appeared in our schools and playgrounds over the past few years. I don't believe these, acti these actions are a reflection of our community at large, but how we, how we respond to them does define us. And we must answer, who do we want to be? From the abundant love and compassion I've witnessed in this community during the pandemic, we already know who we are. We just need to work harder to denounce those who seek division and actively and publicly stand up for each other. Let's heed the call from a Westfield clergy in a recently shared video of solidarity. We need the light here, now. Let's shine together. I firmly commit to leading that charge in the year ahead and making this one of this administration's most important priorities. In closing, I look forward to the days when COVID is no longer mentioned in this annual address. In spite of its lingering challenges, I'm proud to affirm that the state of our town is exceptionally strong and we are well poised to capitalize on a post-pandemic future. I will ask once again that you continue to hold us accountable for delivering on our commitments to you and approach this year with gratitude for our families, community, service, and health. It remains a privilege to be your mayor God bless our great community and country. Happy New Year. Let's all be the light. Okay, so I guess it's time for open discussion by citizens. Um, I'm not sure if we had any, any, anybody come in advance. And if anybody wants to call, or if anybody here, you may come up to the microphone and speak to the council on any subject on which we have jurisdiction. Please state your name and address for the record and limit comments to 10 minutes. And we had a phone call, right? The number, if anybody's calling. Um, I don't know if you want to announce the number. What is it for uh, 60? If anybody has any comments, you can call if you like. Is anyone in the audience have any comments? <clears throat> Okay, so let me announce the number. Uh, it's again 908-789-4060.
And then you have to hit the extension 4067, and that gets right to the phone on the dais. Okay. So we'll give it a minute or two. Give see it a minute wanted. or two. Lighten up over there, Scott? Nope. No. All right. I think we're good. Um, hearing none, uh, I close this portion of the meeting and move to reports to standing committees beginning with the Finance Policy Committee. Councilman Hapgood. Thank you, Mayor. I have 21 resolutions, 19 of which I'd like to move as a package. Maybe this is a competition tonight for who's going to talk the most. <laughs> um, I'll go through them in order. One, a resolution to approve the cash management plan. Two, a resolution to approve the 2022 petty cash accounts. <clears throat> Number three, a resolution to appoint public agency compliance officer. The fourth, a resolution designating the Westfield Leader and the Star Ledger as the official newspapers. Number five, a resolution to appoint the green team consisting of the following members. Nancy Albanese, Kieran Brown, Jeff Brick, Liz Chaco, Catherine Ch Chowdhury, Katie Doyle, Ben Eisenberg, Mark Eisenberg, Mercedes Fall Okamaro, Peter Goldberg, Jay Goldring, Carrie Hansen, Jonathan Jacobs, Walter Korfmacher, Lois Krauss, who will be the co-chair, Karen Kubicina, Robert Lerner, Victor Liu, Zoe McKelvey, Amarish Mehta, Ann Pachia, Donna Pizzi, David Siegler, who will be the other co-chair, Jeanette Spezio, Jolie Tranfalu, <laughs> Tim Vanette, Medea Valeri, Jessica Weitzman, Bianca Wright, Lizia Zeng, the sixth is a resolution to appoint the Westfield Senior Advisory Council consisting of the following members. Brad Shanani, co-chair. Deirdre Jaleen, co-chair. Shusmita Sinha, Harvey Davidson, Jerry Rothfleisch, Ronald Holmes, Kathy Doolin, John O'Brien, Curdy Malik, Michelle Martin, Paul Albacher, Pearl Weiner. Number seven, a resolution to appoint the auditor. Number eight, a res resolution to appoint the town attorney. The ninth, a resolution to obtain professional services from the town attorney. 10, a resolution to appoint the labor attorney. 11, a resolution to obtain professional services for the labor attorney. Number 12, a resolution to appoint special counsel. Number 13, a resolution to appoint bond counsel. Number 14, a resolution to appoint redevelopment attorney. 15, a resolution to appoint redevelopment planner. 16, a resolution to appoint redevelopment bond council. 17, resolution to award contract for professional engineering services. 18, a resolution to award contract for health insurance consultant slash broker services and risk management services. And 19, a resolution authorizing an agreement with CGPHL. May I have a second? Second. So you write councilman contract. Any discussion? Uh, I'll just add my thanks to those folks that we're appointing tonight to those committees. It's incredible. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Opposed? This motion is carried. Next, Mayor, I'd like to move a resolution to approve the 2022 temporary budget. May I have a uh, second? Second. Signed by Councilman Mackey. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Councilwoman Hapgood? Yes. Councilman Legrippo? Yes. Councilman Katz? Yes. Councilwoman Mackey? Yes. Councilman Contract? Yes. Councilman Dardia? Yes. Councilman Boyce? Yes. Mayor Brindle? Yes. This motion has carried. And I'd also like to move a resolution to approve the 2022 temporary swim pool utility budget. May I have a second? Second. A second by Councilman Boyce. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Councilwoman Hapgood? Yes. Councilman Legrippo? Yes. Councilman Katz? Yes. Councilwoman Mackey? Yes. Councilman Contract? Yes. 
Councilman Dardia? Yes. Councilman Boys? Yes. Mayor Brindle? Yes, this motion has carried. And lastly, Mayor, I'd like to move those that will be the members of the Investment Advisory Council for this year, 2020-2022. Adam Contract is our high school senior representative. Dominic Murillo, Bijou Mohan, Stephen Morgenthal, Lee Pachia, Drew Pecker, Mike Prasinski, Lou Chi, Christopher Rossi, and Eric Wallace. Excellent. Um, and thank them for their service as well. Next is the Public Safety, Transportation, and Parking Committee. Councilman Boys. Thank you, Mayor. I have a resolution to appoint an on-call traffic consultant. May I have a second? Second. Moved by Councilman Contract. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. Yes. Opposed? This motion is carried. Next is the Code Review and Town Property Committee. Councilman Mackey. I move a resolution to appoint a municipal housing liaison. May I have a second? Second. Moved by Councilman Boys. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. 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 Opposed? Aye. This motion is carried. <clears throat> Last is the Public Works Committee, Councilman Contract. Uh, thanks, Mayor. I move a resolution to appoint a C-3 sewer operator. May I have a second? Second. Seconded by Councilman Habgood. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. Yes. Opposed? This motion is carried. And uh, may I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Uh, and before we, rev I just want to offer thanks to all the council members and we look forward to a really terrific year of working together we got a lot to do and most importantly thanks to the so many people that we appointed tonight um, we are ready to get to work so um, second second okay. and thank okay. you mayor thank you, uh, thank you. Uh, happy new year everybody this, uh, 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 happy new year. this motion is carried this meeting is adjourned all right <clears throat> what's the time uh -huh. Seven oh five. Fast. Nice. Yeah,